Hey everybody, Doc B here coming at you. It's Tuesday. I am officially dubbing it PT Tuesday because I want to address some physical therapy issues that my clients are having right now. One of them is the ergonomic setup now that they're working from home. So most of you have your desk really at your dining room table, which is not an ideal situation. Maybe your chairs are a little too low or your tables are a little too high. That's the case in my situation. And I'm just about to start a telemed appointment and I'm really excited, but this situation is bizarre for me because I'm not used to working like this. Point by point situation of where you need to be set up. Neutral head position. You don't wanna be staring at the screen like this. Shoulders need to be in an alignment not rounded forward. Elbow needs to be dropped below, but not at an acute angle. You want to make sure that the elbow itself is at a 90 degree angle so it puts less pressure on the wrist. The more lower the elbow drops, the more wrist pressure that happens. So this neutral position is where you want to be to unload or deload the compression that's going on in the carpal tunnel. Some of the symptoms related to this is weakness in grip strength, numbness, tingling in the fingertips, some burning pain in the palm. The next section of this video is going to be me teaching you how to do some self-care and that includes KT taping of your wrists so that you can unload and support the fascia and the musculature of the wrist so that you can continue working on your computer without any pain and hopefully adjust yourself so you have a better ergonomic work environment at home. Carpal tunnel symptoms can be created by overuse of typing on a keyboard. Here we have two strips of KT tape. One is full length and the other's been cut in half with the edges rounded. Take the long strip and fold one third of it. Grab your scissors and cut two small holes along the edge. Open it up to fully see that there are two holes where you will place your middle and ring fingers. Peel away the paper backing and gently slide the tape over the back side of your hand and knuckles. Rub the glue warm so it stays in place. Peel the backing away from the remaining part of the strip Extend your wrist, putting it on stretch, and pull the tape down along the underside of your forearm. Give it another rub to activate the glue. Peel away part of the smaller strip and anchor it to the back of the wrist starting at the side below the thumb. And with a little stretch, pull the tape so it covers the carpal tunnel. Rub it again to reactivate the glue and there you have it. Happy typing.